Fulfill your obligations unto Allah. Keep yourself occupied with good things. And inshallah, you won't be occupied with that which is bad. If you fulfill your five daily prayers, you make wudu, you wash yourself and you fulfill your prayers for the love you have for Allah, you will automatically be helped when it comes to eradicating bad things. You will do it less. You won't have the time for it. And then community activities, very good. Go out and help people. Reach out to people. Talk to your siblings, talk to your grandparents, talk to anyone, your parents, your own parents. Make sure that you've reached out to people. Don't be lazy. Occupy yourself with good things so that shaitan does not occupy you with bad things. Remember that. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant every one of us ease and make us more conscious of what we're doing. So my brothers and sisters, then again, we need to know when Allah has blessed us with an eyesight, with good health, with wealth, all of these, we need to use them in the right direction. All of these, we need to make sure that we actually use them so well that the day they are taken away from us, and they probably will at some stage, we would not regret the way we use them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us more conscious of our relationship with him. I thought perhaps it would be interesting to mention some of the addictions and some of the remedies that we have. Seek the forgiveness of Allah. Turn to Allah. Allah loves you. It's about time we changed our ways and habits. Trust me, we don't know who's going to live and for how long we're going to live. We don't want to die with the wrong thing in our hands, having done the wrong thing. That is why we have these blessed, beautiful reminders to remind us to say, do the right thing in your life. Don't, you don't want to regret when you go to meet with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.